Can the word A, B, B, A, A be generated by the given grammar? We're going to use the CYK algorithm to figure this out. So the string is A, B, B, A, A. I'm going to draw this diagram that's going to help us. Okay, so row one is for all the substrings of length one. Row two is the substrings of length two. Row three, substrings of length three, four, five. I think you, you get it. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is look at all of the substrings of length one. So we got A, B, B, A, and A. So if we look back at our if, if we look back at our grammar, um, we're looking for a non-terminal that can produce a, and we see that x can produce a. X is the only one, so we'll put x right here in the first spot. Now, the next one is b. Is there any non-terminals that can produce the terminal b? And the answer is no. We have one that can produce two b's, but that that doesn't doesn't work for us. So, and then we have these. Okay, let's make these dashes a different color. Okay, so that was all of our substrings of length one. Let's move on to substrings of length two. Let's do these one at a time. So we've got here. Got A, B. So we have that X can produce A, but we don't have anything that can produce just a B. And if we look back at our grammar, there there isn't anything that produces A, B. So we're just going to draw a line through that one. Um, and we're going to move on to the next to the next substring, which is B, B. Looking back at our grammar, we see that X can produce BB, so we'll put X right here. And we'll move on to our next substring, BA. That one, I think it's pretty obvious it's not in our grammar, so let's just put a dash there and move on to AA. Y can produce AA as we can tell from looking at our grammar. And so we put Y in that spot. Okay, and now we're on to substrings of length three. So we'll start out with our first one, ABB. Okay. So this, when, this, when the substrings get a little bit longer, it gets a little bit more complicated because there's a couple of ways that we can produce this string, substring, A, B, B. So we can do A and a B, B. Or we can do A, B, B. Now, we can use this diagram that we've drawn. We've already found all of our strings of length 1, and we found all of our strings, substrings of length 2, and so we just need to look back at our diagram and see if they're in there. Um, so for A, X can produce A. So we will put X here. And then for BB, X can also produce BB. And then for our other one, we have AB. Um, we've already determined that's not in there and there's no single Bs, so that one's that one's no good. So let's look back at our grammar for uh, a double X, XX. It's not in our grammar. So 
we don't have that substring in our this this grammar cannot produce that substring okay and moving on to the next contiguous substring bba so this can be produced by b b a or it can be produced by b b comma a we can roll that one out right off the bat because we know we don't have any single b's and we don't have ba if we look back at our diagram ba ba is a substring of length two so if we go up to the row two in that position of a dash so if if you weren't already convinced so bba we do have a bb which is uh x and then a we also have an a. And so that's xx. We just looked in our grammar for xx. We don't have that. So we can put a dash there. And now we're moving on to our next substring of length 3. And it's our last one. So that can be produced by baa or it can be produced by baa. -A. Again, we know we don't have any single Bs, so that's not going to work. And we don't have BA in our grammar either, so we can just put a dash through that. There are no substrings of length 3 produced by this, um, or at least in this particular word. Okay, substrings of length 4. Let's start with ABBA. Now there's a lot of ways that this can be produced, but because we know there's no substrings of length three, we don't need to bother with any any substrings that have. Um, we don't need to split it up in that way, so we can split it in half. Uh, actually, that's our only option. So we could do a b comma b a, and that's definitely not in our. That's not going to work. So we put a dash in in the location. And then we move on to our next one, which is BBAA. Um, so this can be split up into BB, comma, AA. Now BB is a substring of length 2, so we go up to row 2. That can be produced by X. And then A. A is also a substring of length 2, so let's go up to row 2. Y can produce AA. So XY. Now let's look at our grammar and see if we have an XY. We do. We have an S that can be replaced by XY. Let's put S right there. Okay, now we are on our last one. We have a substring of length five. So there are a couple of ways we can split this up. We've got, we can, we can do A comma B, B, A, A, or we can do A, B, B, A comma A. A can be produced by X, as we can see from here. BBAA can be produced by S. Okay, ABBA, um, row four. We cannot produce ABBA, so this, this fails. XS, is that in our grammar? It is not, so this word a, B, B, A, A cannot be produced by, by the given grammar. And that's, that's how you do that.